So in the upcoming parapsychology of the Moving Thought Forms training, you need to uh, teach the face reading and everyone wants to know what's face reading. The face is the entryway into the energetic portal of that individual. And everybody's an individual and everyone has their own kind of unique history. And how they've arranged that history is all kind of billboarded on the face and how they've magnetically uh, experienced it and, and they're broadcasting it, reliving it, buried it, uh, or, or fighting with it. It's all very evident as soon as you kind of look at their face and know how to decode the tremendous amounts of information that they're broadcasting uh, from the face. So we need to know how to do that in order to be able to be conscious of our own direction and uh, helping others in their direction. And so you're going to teach this during... Yeah, we have to, we have to, it's part of the parapsychology of moving thought form because we have to identify how that individual has stored and filed the thought forms that are dominating their incarnation. And their, their thought stream is uh, created by the thought forms that are broadcasting. So in order to move those thought forms, we have to identify where the person is and then know how to move them out of that position to a better position. And so would this relate to when you're doing a meditation, sometimes you feel your face move, like something yes. like face moving? A lot of times you'll, you'll, you'll feel some kind of energetic shift in somewhere in the body the system and you're not sure what exactly is occurring and if you if you know how to read the language a little bit then you go oh that is a particular block that i am now breaking through i'm releasing that that will become less of an obstacle or that particular energetic configuration is something that i've entangled with another or an environment with, and that's creating obstacles and difficulties in my life. So I can now unravel that because I put more energy into it and had the conscious awareness and intelligent kind of skill to dissemble it and reassemble it in a better form. Would you say this is also why when you look at yourself after you do a deep meditation, you look different? And sometimes you don't recognize who's looking back at you. If you don't recognize who's looking back at you, then you've really not gone to a place where you're deeper, much more deeper in your soul and you're less, you're out of your kind of personality realm and your imprinted kind of conditioned realm into your pure infinite realm. And that's the quest.